currently Saturday at noon and we just stopped off at this French cafe. I can't remember the name of but I'll link everything down in the description as per usual. If you want to check it out if you're ever in Gothenburg. Our flight this morning was at 4am. I did record some footage earlier of that. Not sure how coherent it is after four hours of sleep but I'll insert it here. So we've just walked up this long street, which I can't remember the name of, and behind us is this really nice hut. Look what a nice day it is! And we haven't brought any maps with us, because we literally arrived about two hours ago and our hotel room isn't ready yet, so we're just sort of wandering the streets. Not really knowing where anything is, so that's probably not very helpful for you guys. But I will link it all down in the description once I find out. So we're on the hunt for a tourist information office to get some maps. And yeah, just chilling out before our hotel room is ready so we can recover from our 6am flight. We just spotted an exhibition. I don't know if you can see, they look like big cotton buds. I'm going to check it out. We're in a jungle of massive carpet rolls. What do you think it means? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> no. <laughs> Isn't life just like one big Carpet. Cotton. It's furry. And you can tell we're not uh, the most knowledgeable about art. Just come across. I'm gonna say this wrong. Constalen. Yeah, be very careful how you pronounce that, Martha. It's alright. Constalen. Free admission. Score. Is the outside. Flower pots on conveyor belts. I don't get it. I don't understand. Just left the nature museum. And I love that. I love just bumping into random exhibitions and not knowing what's going to be there. Even though I didn't really understand what that was about. It was still fun. Spontaneous fun. And look at this view of that road. A guy's butt. <laughs> the original vlogger, Sir Reginald O. That's Victor Brian. Hasselblad, Martha. Fine. I, I was making a joke. Well, Thank your you joke was silly. It. it was a silly joke. Thanks for spoiling it. When the incorrect information is on this plot. Pop back to the hotel to acquire a map. Success! So, where are we? And I think we want to go to the gardens. About to enter the Trad Gardens. Oh, for the Garden Society. Oh, yay! This is. Oh, yeah, it is! Awesome! Got some ice cream. We head to the palm tree house. The remainder of the lollipop has been demolished. Just chilling in a bench in the park and then I'm gonna head to the um, palm house. And then I think there's loads of other stuff around here as well. It's such a nice day, so lucky. This is 
so nice. So peaceful. It's also very warm. It's awesome. Summer is not over, people. It's September, but it's still very warm. Plants are so cool. They look like they've been painted. But it's all natural. All natural, baby. That was so nice. I can't get over how peaceful and relaxing and calming it is. I love it. What are you doing? I'm recording now. Where's she going? Ooh, <laughs> okay, so we are in the hotel, just on our way to our room. This is not very flattering lighting. Let's it's quite a funky lift though. Change the focus to Lauren. Yeah. Yeah. We're on the fifth floor. Room number 508. Ooh, bright. Do, do, do. Ooh, very French. Ooh, got some nice little products here. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. <laughs> and the shower. On our way to Haga, Haga, insert correct pronunciation here. And look, got some nice tree lined avenue, and we just passed the university. Okay, we're taking a detour through the university campus. If you don't know, I am an academic, so I'm a bit attracted to university related things. Look at this building, very grand. recording that entire thing so I started with your face. Good. It helps if you press record guys. Little hint there. So we reached the district of Haga. Haga. Haga apparently. And decided to climb to the top of the monument that's named that the district is named after. Mm -hmm. And um didn't quite realise how high up it is, so we're a bit out of breath now. I think there's a wedding going on here. Lots of formally dressed people. It's so beautiful. There's a guy practicing his speech. Here we are! Hello monkey! Holy moly, I'm hungry. Give me food in my belly. Right now. Holy moly, yum. Um, we are seriously flagging after that amazing dinner. It was so tasty. Speak Couple of points yourself. though. I'm still going. <laughs> yeah, Lawrence is still full of energy. Uh, a couple of points about the restaurant, really nice quality food, but slightly small on the portion size and a bit expensive, but I think that's Sweden in general, price-wise, food. but the food Don't go amazing. there to, to get full, that's definitely not. Oh. Well, the, the, the portion sizes were very, very uh, small. For me, I personally feel full, but Lawrence says that it wasn't quite enough for him, so wasn't quite enough for him, would suggest. It's a bit subjective. I'm a little bit rav. Are you still really hungry? I could definitely eat something still. Like, if you put a burger in front of me, I could definitely eat it. Yeah, but that's just you being greedy. <laughs> <laughs> that may be true. So I think we're going to end the vlog here because we are super tired and just going to head back to the hotel and have a long sleep ready for day two tomorrow. Day one in Gothenburg was amazing. I really like this city, I've got good vibes and I'm looking forward to tomorrow to explore some more. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And I will see you for day two in Gothenburg tomorrow. Good night.